Hello everybody and welcome to a new video, my name is Midway and today I bring you once again some more Age of Origins. So today we're going to be checking out one of the bigger events that there is in the game. It is called the Void Wars and right now it's on the last phase of the event. So this event will have five different phases ranging from uh, different sorts of events which will be happening. We had phase one, phase two, phase three and now we are on the last phase which is the only one that I'm going to be taking part on. But nonetheless it's the most exciting one and here we go we go nation versus nation that's what the event is all about you are going to be put your whole nation is going to be put against a different nation and you will be able to attack any alliance in any city on the enemy nation and so they will be able to do to you now during this event there is no reason for you to be attacking the nations within or rather the cities within your own nation because you want to you will not be getting anything out of it basically and therefore you will be able to go ahead and hop onto the nation in this case we are fighting against 871 so we can go through the portal and we can jump onto this other nation and we can just go ahead and just kill anything we want on this nation we can find any cities in here any alliances and we can just go ahead and wreck havoc now the same is happening to us we go back to our own city and we go back to our own nation here you can see that there is some combat going on we have a bunch of our cities especially the farms that are being destroyed as you can see everything is just on fire because basically anything that's not bubbled up is a target so we can see here some uh, enemy nations have teleported onto us as you can see here this city level 31 city from an enemy nation you can know it's an enemy nation city because uh, there is a red number onto their capital uh, level so here I am my city is level 25 and I have bubbled up I think that might not be that might be the actual the color because of the level of the city minus a little bit uh, yellow ish orange ish not too sure anyways but regardless yeah that's my city I bubbled up because I got destroyed that's why my combat power went down significantly but if you move around the map you can find there's cities from the enemy nations attacking us and we are attacking them and if we go to my own alliance here you can see that we are attacking other cities for example this one's uh, here i think this is a city from a different nation we can tp to it i'm actually i don't think it is but regardless that is the whole idea the event is taking place for 24 hours it's basically about to end here we can also go and check out the rankings here as you can see here there is uh, some sort of uh, points you acquire and you accumulate so that's why we can see that we are winning and the points you basically get by defending against the attacks coming from the enemy nation or basically doing the attacks yourself so i am uh, i got destroyed so a lot of my troops died but i am going to be participating in this event and i'm going to be trying to join some attack or trying to attack somebody i'll probably get my troops destroyed in the process but i'll do that anyway so for that i'm going to be going ahead and buffing my troops as much as i can so i can void a tp i can use this i bought a pack so i could use this i can go onto the enemy nation and that's how i can attack the enemy but that will also probably make my bubble disappear so i'm not too sure if i want to be doing that maybe i want to be finding a target within my own nation regardless i'll buff up and i'll be using some of these other buffs like for example troop expansion i could use that for eight hours so i can have more troops on my own fleet urgent fleet i'm not really too sure what this is going to be doing there we go increased base movement speed of monster attack by 100 i don't really need monster attack speed i'm going to use the hp bonus for all my troops the attack bonus for all my troops and then I'll just go ahead and make sure that with this amount of troops that I can have now on my fleet. So let me go ahead and just randomly select the monsters so I can check out how many troops I can have. So I can make sure that I have enough troops to fill in here. Yeah, I can. I can. I should now be uh, trying to uh, build up some more troops. Because I don't actually reach the uh, the full capacity of my fleet right now because everything that I had was destroyed. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of that there and you can see that the number goes up quite a lot. So I still need to build some more troops. So I'm going to be doing that exactly before I go and do anything else. All right, so here's my formation. Now it's full with the buff that increases the amount of troops that I can have on my fleet. So as you can see here, we are 1,551 rather 151,775 that is a number so I filled up everything with cannons as much as I could and then some snipers and everything else is just one troop of each as you can see one of each in the front row one of each in the middle row as well as the zombies and then one of each in the back row together with everything else and of course all my titans and the warplane and everything together that makes the strongest fleet that I can have for the offense as well as the defense in order to minimize the amount of losses so now we're going to be finding something to attack. Hopefully I can do it along with my alliance. So let's go ahead and try and find what they're doing. So here, for example, we got some attack going on. They're battling already here. The battle time here is very long, but that could be... 
and east target let's just see what's going on here if we can tp to it real quick because this is already in the in the making this battle is just taking place right now as you can see here they are fighting off and apparently the defense is winning so our attack is not too hot uh, we are probably yeah with this one's definitely a loss that is an enemy city that got tp'd onto us as you can see here they got quite a major uh, city is like level 31 city with uh, some nice transmog right there or whatever you call that the appearance of the city is pretty cool and they are defending this pretty hard i guess we we didn't really time that attack properly but let's try and find something we can actually join and be a part of without actually getting our asses kit here so uh, maybe we could just go ahead and do that anyways but they are attacking that city back to back to back and and it seems that it is standing that heat pretty well so I need to hit together here as you can see we are coordinating that so we can try and, and hit the city pretty strong at the same time so that we can win it but nonetheless this city is going to be attacking us uh, so long as we don't uh, take it down they could be bubbling whatever we are gonna have to take care of it if we want to get some points out of that so for now we'll just wait it up and see what we can coordinate with our uh, alliance and then we'll attack this city right here the other option as i mentioned before would be to then go ahead and tp onto the alliance uh, the the enemies uh, territory right here but that would expose us very much i think we, we would just be alone versus everything else we have this little cup right here for the rankings that's just the normal rankings i guess it's taking into account the nation we are in instead but we could go ahead and tp onto this nation and attack stuff and if we are strong enough we would be fine but obviously if we are not we're going to be coordinatedly attacked by pretty much everybody onto this other nation that we are at war with that's why pretty much everybody has the shields up on the enemy nation just like us so we'll go back here and we'll try and find a coordinated attack onto anything and then i'll be showing that as this uh, little example of how you play this event out but in any case we have like 40 uh, 40 minutes on this event and we have a quite a big advantage here as we can see in the total rankings we have a lot of points uh, mainly thanks to some other alliances within our realm as you can see here 908 that's our uh, our um, our nation and uh, this alliance TOT, uh, TAT or TAT has basically gotten like uh, four times the points we have more than that actually and some people are just contributing a lot more than we are but regardless we are on the waiting side right now we can contribute to it a little bit more by playing some of these uh, battles so we'll try and join one of those and i'll show you what's that like in a few moments now i've not yet found any city to attack but you can see here that they are destroying this one guy from our nation that city that dk we got two of the enemy cities that level 36 city ganging up on that guy and they're just sending it fleet after fleet attacking the city multiple times at a time and that is basically allowing them to just destroy every single troop they have uh i can show you here a report of when i first got attacked here by that same one guy uh first he got hit and i lost a lot of resources and i lost no troops because they all got wounded but then i got maxed out on the hospital as well as the uh, chemical or the biochemical hospital as you can see here the biochemical materials and i started losing units 50,000 units uh, that's the same one actually and then i lost like 20,000 again and then i got i kept getting attacked and i kept losing units that's why you do lose units permanently on this sort of battle mode because you will basically keep on getting attacked and eventually you will run out of uh, space onto your hospital and biochemical hospital as well as the other hospital that this event has which has a special hospital where 30% of killed troops during the void of war battles will be going here onto this one hospital everything else will just be disappearing and everything that goes onto the void hospital can be recovered it's like an extra mode of not losing as many troops because it's a it's a game mode or an event based completely around pvp and killing any enemy troops or getting your troops killed so that's why you can buy some of these resources and for a little bit of an extra cost you can recover some of them besides everything that you can recover from your hospital normally as well as everything you can recover from your biochemical hospital right here which i still have pretty full but yeah that's an extra avenue of you not losing all the troops that you might have spent so much time and resources building up and you can spend some extra other money using your aoc coins to prevent some of that major loss if you want to but that's other options here let's just go ahead and finally find something that we can actually fight and uh, basically lose a lot of troops 
in the making here so now i am on nation 871 so this is the enemy nation on this event and i have 26 minutes left on the event to do an attack so i found this city level 20 a little bit below my city level but anything that was around my level is part of an alliance and is most likely bubbled and i am not really willing to expose myself too much so i'm just going to be doing a little test here for you to see guys but normally you would be going in the, onto the enemy nation and attacking coordinately with your alliance but i don't want to be exposing myself to too big risks so what I can do is use one of these void teleports here so I can TP to the enemy nation and I can attack this one city. So I'm going to be doing that real quick and then teleporting back to my own uh, alliance or rather to my own nation so I don't get targeted too much. So I'll TP right now and I'll do that confirm right there. And uh, my city is now teleported right there. That's the city. So I'm going to go ahead and attack that with everything that I have. That's going to be canceling my shield. But I'll set that attack out real quick. And I'll speed it up as much as I can right now. It's not going to take too long. But regardless, I want to make it as soon as, as instant as I can. So there we go. It's going to be taking place anytime now. Attack is up now. Attack withdraw. I can't really withdraw that now. But I'm not really seeing much. I'm not really too sure why. There we go. Now we are seeing it. So the attack already finished. And uh, yeah, that basically most likely just a complete destruction here total units whatever they didn't really have much apparently so i'll just try and hit them again but i don't think they have pretty much anything i'm not gonna lie uh, i'll just do it again before i get targeted and i'll bail the hell out of here i'll just attack everything uh, attack the city with everything i have i'll speed it up real there uh, real quick there i don't really need to do that because it's real quick but yeah just in case not taking any risks real speeding that up I'm instantly winning that and I'm not getting too many resources. I didn't really scout them or anything. But yeah, I basically destroyed everything they had on the previous attack. Didn't really have any defense here. Didn't have anything. About, uh, actually, uh, that's been uh, pretty much a free win. I didn't get many resources either. But that's about it. I got some points for that. because uh, From doing that, I got some points that will count on the for the event. Not too many because I barely destroyed any troops. So I could go ahead and keep attacking some of this. But to be fair, what I'm going to be getting out of this, uh, the most likely nothing. It's just going to take a little while for me being here and exposing myself to the risks of getting attacked by the enemies i'll just do one more attack for the sake of it it's a really low level city that's really really not necessary to do so and i'm not gonna get anything out of it most likely not gonna be protected or anything but there you go, there you go. that's just how you do it you go to the enemy um the nation and then you find a target and then you attack it or you can just be defending on your own nation that also works you get points for that as well and then you just go ahead here and see what you did i just didn't kill pretty much anything i don't think so at least it's not showing there nothing's really been dying so i don't think they have any units designed or assigned to the defense whatever in any case these are really low level cities that i'm not really uh, getting anything out of so yeah if i wanted to get some points and really take place or partake in the event i would have to find some cities that are much more uh, close to my level that's when i actually get some stuff so now i'm just gonna go back onto my nation just going back into my city and then jumping back here actually i do need to bail out here by going i'm not really sure there we go return to nation so i can that's how you return to your own nation and uh, there you go now my city is right here i think i just bounced back easily like that and i'll shield myself once again just like this by going to war go down and uh, use a peace shield for just a day so that should do i don't need to worry too much anymore i think my shield should be going up now unless there's something preventing me from it uh in, in regardless i think i did use it yeah there we go so i did use it if i just tp out and tp back out there the shield should be up yeah the shield is up so now i'm not able to be attacked even though there's only 22 minutes left on the event regardless that is how you partake in this event either you get attacked like that guy did before and you defend so the defense also gives you points just like the ones i have here i have a uh, two million points because i did some defenses and then you can also go ahead and attack and you can get some points that way and then those points accumulate into the alliance points and the individual points and then obviously onto the nation point and that's how you win versus the enemy nation so this is the last step of this whole event of the void wars event before this there are some previous steps that i didn't record so i'm only showing you this part but i'll be doing some other videos onto other events and other parts of this event as well if it comes up in the near future so i hope you enjoyed the video hope you find it useful please let me know in the comments anything you want to know about this game any questions you might have also if you want to check out the game go down in the description or on the comment section and you can find a link to download it with my link that also helps me out a lot and yeah hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you in the next one bye bye see ya